Okay, so this one's going to be kind of a little bit of a short one, but it's 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 an important one for sure. Uh, there was a whistleblower who just got silenced on Twitter. I think her account is suspended on Twitter. Uh, her name is uh, 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 Rebecca Jones. And back in uh, May of last year, there's really only one article that was that was written about it. Um, and it's part of the reason why she was suspended from Twitter. Uh, she blew the whistle on uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, or as I have nicknamed him, Ron Dick Santis, because he's from Florida and he's also a dick. Uh, so, uh, I, you know, feel free to tweet that at him or whatever the fuck. I don't really give a shit. Uh, but I like to call him Ron Dick Santis. I feel like that's a very funny nickname. Uh, and I'm kind of half proud of that, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but uh, she blew the whistle because he was trying to adjust death rates in Florida, specifically COVID death rates, not just any death rate, uh, COVID death rates in Florida. He was he was trying to decrease those numbers, falsify the reports. So he could justify opening the state. He could justify opening venues, uh, restaurants. I mean, and then you kind of saw it happen, right? Like people were flooding the beaches. Uh, spring break was still happening. You know, people, I mean, I, I was I was hearing of people doing shows down in Florida. Like Florida was just, um, a, a, just like a, a nightmare situation. Uh, and I'm so sorry to anybody that lives in that state. Uh, voluntarily or involuntarily, like, yeah. Anyway, uh, so she blew the whistle. And and by the way, Ron DeSantis doing this, Ron DeSantis doing this, is pretty much the exact same thing that both Andrew Cuomo and Gretchen Whitmer got caught doing. Uh, which, by the way, those stories have been fucking buried because you don't you don't really hear about Andrew Cuomo and his fucking nursing home uh death toll fraud and Gretchen Whitmer's nursing home death toll fraud and I wouldn't be surprised if fucking Pennsylvania's governor came out and said yeah we fucked with the, some of the numbers because we didn't want it to look as bad now he blatantly came out I mean it was very clear as to why Dick Santos was doing it um because he just wanted to reopen the state because you know the economy is more important than human lives that's just how these fucking Republicans think or, or that was sort of the way that the Republican narrative was going. Um, but Cuomo and Whitmer, they don't get, they don't have that excuse of, well, we just wanted to open up our state or whatever. Like they were like, oh, we didn't want the numbers to seem bad because then Trump would basically say ter terrible things about the Democratic Party. That was actually that was literally Cuomo's excuse to the DOJ when they did the investigation. He li like that was his literal fucking thing that he said. So Rebecca Jones blows the whistle on this. She's, she's basically saying that you know, hey, they're falsifying these reports. They want to release um, numbers that are way lower than what they actually are. And uh, that's fucked up. That's not okay. You know, people are dying. This is a big deal. Um, and so the Miami Herald wrote an article, and this is where the trouble with Twitter comes in. So Twitter suspended her account for showing the Miami Herald article and says that she shared it 50 times. They don't really say in what period of time did she share it 50 times? Now, if this is the only article written about you and and your, your whistleblowing, I get it. I understand. Yeah, you're going to get that story out any which way that you possibly can. Right? That's that's just what that's just what you're, you're going to do. So if between May of 2020... And let's say June of 2020, you tweeted this out 50 times. I get it. You want the story to be heard. Some something like CNN isn't going to grab hold of this. It, you, you know, like they're, they're, they're this. They don't. They don't like whistleblowers on corporate media. 
Bellingcat ain't gonna do no story on this. So now we're, what we're looking at is censorship used to cover up uh, basically how corrupt the United States government really is from, from the top to the bottom. And, and it basically, uh, you know, is more proof of the argument of, hey, uh, guess what? We need we got to restart this whole fucking thing. The system doesn't work. We got to we got to do something completely fucking different. So they use censorship as a cover up. They covered up the story. And how many stories? I mean, I, I feel like I'm I'm just uncovering story after story that that's just like been covered up. But fortunately now, um, thanks to social media, thanks to the, the the you know more more lefty news organizations, things aren't being silenced the way that they are. Uh, you know, like like the Tulsa race massacre was was covered up. The the move bombings were covered up. You know, uh, fact that America wanted to nuke Taiwan has been covered up. I was just telling a friend of mine about that the other day. And he was like, why? Why would they do that? What would be the purpose of it? And it was like, yeah, it's to stop communism. They were like, if there's no islets that they can take over and spread their agenda to, then communism is, 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 and he's like, but that's crazy. Why would they? And it's like, yeah, man, that's, that's how these sociopaths think. Like they tried to get Eisenhower. And again, that, that came out very recently that they were trying to do that. Ellsberg revealed that it, it revealed that, I mean, how much has been covered up, you know, and now it's starting to become harder for them to do that. Now we know that Ron DeSantis, Andrew Cuomo, Gretchen Whitmer, and, and probably countless other fucking governors in an attempt to keep their states open, in an attempt to, oh, we don't want the Democrats to look bad in front of Trump, covered up a bunch of debts. And, and, that, and, and censorship is being used as a, as a way to cover up, right? The, the story did get out, but it's now been, her, her Twitter's been suspended. So how is she going to, how is she going to talk to people? Not that Twitter is the only way to talk to people, but but it is it it makes it harder. The reach has now been been severed a little bit. So now censorship is basically being used. I mean, you, you saw it in the way that you know people like Graham Elwood are being demonetized. Lee Camp is being shadow banned. Ron Placone's channel is being shadow banned. My videos are being taken down. Fiorella's videos are being taken down. Nico House's videos are being taken down. You know. They're getting deleted from some of these larger platforms, which is why we go to Rockfin and Odyssey, because they're going to help us be seen a little bit more. But, you know, my videos were, I mean, my two of my videos were taken down. Uh, th well, three of my videos were taken down. One was a warning. But, um, you know, and and all, all I did was expose Time Magazine talking about collusion within the Democratic Party to get Joe Biden elected. And that is a word that they use in that article. I'm sure a bunch of you watching the stream now, or if you're listening to the replay, I'm sure you guys remember me reading that article. I fucking literally read it, and they deleted that video and gave me a strike on my channel. I mean, that's that censorship used to cover it up. Are, are people going to go back and reread that Time article? Unlikely. Unlikely. But they might watch a video talking about the time article and now they can't do that unless you're on rockfin or odyssey because that's 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 the only way to see them it's the only way to see those videos so they're so they're covering it up again they're covering up the fact that fucking dick santis is trying to you know lie about numbers to open his state up when when it wasn't and you and this is this is a separate thing i, I want to do a bigger video on like the the hypocrisies of fauci and the cdc and and just how like some of the big corporate unions uh handle this situation but you you kind of look at the way that the american teachers uh, american federation of teachers reacted when trump wanted to reopen schools versus how biden wanted to reopen schools you know when trump wanted to reopen schools oh my God, this is too dangerous. And here's all of the things that schools would have to do in order to open properly. 
Biden wants to reopen schools. They go, yeah, we understand that the science says community spread comes from opening the schools up again. And we've been doing this dance of opening and virtual, opening, virtual, opening, virtual. And it's really terrible for the kids. And even though we should probably have been focusing on a virtual curriculum this whole time, um, you know, but the Democrats want people to get back to work. Joe Biden wants you to get back to work because he wants to put America back to work because that's what he's still we're going to say, hey, let's open the schools again, even though the science says the opposite. I know we said we'd lead by science, but, you know, hey, how about this? Shut the fuck up and go fuck yourself. Uh, just listen to what we, you know, like that's you see that. And again, this is the same thing. I'm actually surprised that CNN hasn't picked up this story. Because it goes it goes right into spreading divide between the Republicans and the Democrats. But again, I think the Andrew Cuomo and Gret Gretchen Whitmer story were too big. So they have to ignore this as well. But hey, fucking we don't. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Let's look at your comments. Aha! Little love for Jeffrey Combs in the comments, too. Always good to see some love for Jeffrey Combs. Brunt FCA. Yes, Holly. I'm glad you I'm glad you uh, you caught. Uh, I'm, I'm glad there's somebody that, that enjoys DS9 as much as I do. My, my, my roommate and I watched that whole show last year, and, and I feel like we're the only two people in the world um, that. Uh, that have that really enjoy that that show. Uh cynical girl holly had to relay a cynical girl comment uh death santis yes yes uh that is a, that is another good one death santis dick santis and death santis they're two different versions they're two different versions right when he's in his own office by himself he's death santis but when he's out in public and he's giving speeches he's dick santis very similar how um you know you have chancellor palpatine and Darth sidious they're the same person uh, just, you know, one wears a, a cloak and the other one pretends to be a politician. Very similar to fucking Ron DeSantis. <laughs> uh, although I don't think Ron DeSantis is, is, is as powerful as, as Sidious. Um, Cynical Girl says, I told someone at our neighborhood store yesterday that I was bent on leaving Florida to move to Michigan, and he said they have a crazy governor. They do, but so, so does Florida. <laughs> Florida also has a crazy uh, governor. A dingo ate me, baby. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Rebecca Jones is a shiro. Holly Horn, yes, absolutely. She did. She again. It, th this is like going up against. You, you know, when you kind of break the stories about this sort of stuff, it is going up against like uh, a, a a pop culture hero almost. You know what I mean? It is it is going up against almost like a pop culture hero because politicians in America are held to such ridiculous. They're, they're put on these ridiculous pedestals. That's something I wanted to write about, too, is is sort of the hero worship of, of politicians in this country and how it's kind of destroyed politics um, and critical thinking and, and things of that sort. That's that's something that I, I will I will write soon. I have a bunch of these essays I want to write um, and 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 put out there, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want 
pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists, such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gastola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them. Um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it, and uh, and you guys help keep this uh, keep keep this this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.